Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we finished off the left side last video. So now we're going on to the right side. And I've got four packs right here. Uh, so again, I would like to see some of the rare rookies. That'd be nice. Uh, we still haven't pulled the secret rare yet. Uh, uh, the rare rookies is doubles, I mean. So starting off, we got Brachiomon. Got Summon. Monotamon. Ultra Turbulence. Low Rimon. Kumamon. Metal Kabuterimon. Nice cute Gomamon. Another, like, fierce Dorimon. Uh, Rihimon. We got another Kota Demoto, and there's the other secret rare. Yo, we got them both. That is, that is excellent luck. I'm very happy with that. Like, I'm happy getting a second one of him because I feel like he's going to be clutch later on with more X antibodies coming out. So we got the Lusamon Chaos Mode, and this is actually my first Lusamon card, uh, as you've probably watched, I haven't pulled any others. Uh, I did see one in the store, the, the rookie one, and I passed up buying him, like, even though I had store credit at the store. Uh, it was the one that closed down because he was, like, $80 at the time, and I was like, I'm not dropping $80 of store credit. In hindsight, I kind of wish I did. Um, so this Lusamon Chaos Mode is a 14 play cost, no Digivolution cost, 12,000 DP. Uh, your Lusamon can digivolve into this card uh, in your hand for a memory cost of 7, ignoring this card's digivolution requirements. For every 10 cards in your trash, reduce the memory card or the memory cost when playing this card from your hand by 3. On play when digivolving, delete one of your opponent's tamers or level 6 or lower Digimon. So that's, this is again made for a Lusamon deck, because uh, this on play when digivolving, unless that means, like for a second I was thinking like, it's got to be either on play or digivolving, like I don't, I'm confused by that, because I was under the assumption that on play effects happen all the time, and when digivolving effects only happen when digivolving. So either I've got that terminology wrong, or this guy would proc twice when digivolving. Once for playing, and then once for digivolving, which sounds completely wrong to me. He has no uh, inheritable effect. Um, though for level 5, he is, he is a strong boy. At a uh, 12,000. Uh, but he's also targetable because most of the cheaper removals are like level 5 or lower. Um, I am happy to get him. Uh, and I think when the Mastamon deck comes out, which I heard that there is one coming out, where it's a uh, purple and yellow deck, he would fit uh, easily in there. Because Lusamon is a yellow Digimon. He's a purple Digimon. Uh, I feel that would go well. So we got three more packs in this video. Darugamon. Another Ghostmon. I really like the look of him. Although it's sad that Bakamon is uh, getting phased out, I guess. Pokemon. Monochromon. Brave Metal, Bulkmon, Blue Hawaii Death, Calling from the Darkness, Fire Drake Strike, Esomon. Have we pulled this like exact pack? Like this seems very familiar. Koichi and an Emperor Greymon. So this is the second Emperor Greymon that we've pulled, um, which is good. I'm actually, I just had a thought because this is Emperor Greymon. 
Uh, so I think he would work in my Greymon deck, I think. I'm not sure if I would put him in there. But he could work in that. Because I think it's only the Doru Greymon lines that the certain Agumons don't work with. I'll have to double check. We got an Ankylomon, Gigasmon, Orochimon, Pulsemon, Waymon, Mimon, Toy Agumon, Starlight Velocity, Kapurimon, Aldamon, Ancient Sphinxmon, and uh, Kazuchimon. He is uh, Pulsemon Evolution. I want to build a... I like build the idea of building decks centered around a single Digimon. Like, just building a Pulsemon deck sounds fun. Uh, not so much for uh, competitive, but just like fun local stuff I think would be neat. So starting out, we got Tortomon. Kendo Gururumon. Monotamon, Gigastorm, Tidal Wave, Ultra Turbulence, another Monochromon, Stephilmon, Ancient Volcanomon, Jet Sylphimon, Sistermon Cecile Awakened, and Flamemon. So this video is a little shorter than normal because we just were running through cards pretty fast. Uh, we did again pull the Lusamon, which that's awesome because that means that I now don't have to worry about trading one for another, worrying that someone really... Because I wasn't aware what the two secrets were. Again, I'm going in blind. So I could imagine someone trying to make this deck and they would really want to hold on to these kind of cards. So I'm glad we pulled him. Uh, as always, uh, comment down below if you have any ideas of what I should do next. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if, to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help. And until then, I will see you next time.